Hi, right, this is Tayo Shalabadi, and I'll be recording a few video clips to demonstrate the new um, features I've added to my Russian formulator. It's quite popular now. And so basically, uh, there are three new things that have features have been added. You can now um, have an extra seven feed ingredients um, for using formulation your rations. Uh, the rules have been provided. Then you can store formulas, okay, um, that you derive. So you can call them, recall them later for use, and then you can also export your stored formulas in a separate workbook. Um, that way you don't have to keep retyping everything whenever you want to use the formulator. Um, as I start the video clips, you see what I mean. So what I'll do first is show you um, the new interface on... Uh, okay, that's... I have to quickly enable the application. Um, this is already taken care of in other videos, so you will... Uh, there are videos preceding this that have been set up on YouTube for uh, I think last few years, so you you'll be able to follow on how to do that. When you launch the application, it goes through this routine. Um, I'm actually a bit <laughs> upset that I didn't do this before now. Okay, so we're going to have to do all of that right now. So this is for one of the old buyers who have now sent his uh, new copy to. Okay. Um, this is just same process now when you get in here table what I've done there is a, a button here that you click that brings up the floating data entry form now that form allows you to um, of course formulate your rations um, prepare your ingredients now there's nothing in the table right now okay so what we'll do is let's bring one of these stored forms this is the new interface that allows you to um, store formulas and retrieve them okay so there's a stored formula that was named below one it's just for demonstration so I click this button load this form into the table and what it does it brings it back okay then I can close this form because I just I want to try and maybe kind of review this formula make it better maybe I think I want to change um, get a I mean change some few uh, entries in it so let's assume I decide I want to do a small change to the crude protein content using to to all the protein sources so I probably want to drop the amount of uh, GNC I use by 8 and step this up by the same amount taking this up to 16 once you click refresh you can see that the total remains a hundred okay, for the percentage contribution of ingredients and then if you look the protein content has gone up I mean this is something the the way this application works this particular version it's not like the one that does you the, the least cost ration so this is something you do like a trial and error you keep putting your data to you get what you want Okay, now we've done that. You can then come here and say, right, I want to store this separate formula as the Velo to revised, that kind of thing. And then you click store, it says yes, start. Okay, how do we know this is the stored one? Okay, well, we, we know that it's 20.47 and we know the, the changes we made to the granite cake and fish meal. So let's reload the first, the first one. Okay, so what we'll do is let's load this. And you can see there, if you take a look, it's back to 12.12 for both of them. If we go back and say, right, we would like to load the new revised version. And you can see, uh, w along with this change here, we also have this change. So that's one of them. But let's, let's export the new one we have. Okay. You click the export button. Basically what the application does, it opens up another workbook, which accompanies this new version of the application. Okay. That's the file name there, rfexport.xls. Alright, and then you can see success below to revise successfully exported. So basically the idea is you this is it here. Okay, you may not see the full body. Okay, you can see the eight, the sixteen, this is the oh this is below one. This yeah, this is below two. Okay, so you can see the change we made and all of that. Now it's left open, then you just minimize that and come back to here. So you have this, okay, and you have this. This is the exported workbook, it's a separate workbook. You, you can manipulate it, save as, blah, blah, blah. it's already saved anyway. And then you come back here. Okay, so if you look at it, um, it's a very simple mission. Now, one, one other thing that happened in the new application is we have extra an extra seven rows. Okay, here they are. So you can uh, add more ingredients in preparing your rations. Okay, and that's basically the, the, the change. Those are the changes, the three changes we have. Uh, if you like to maybe get copy of it or find out more just come to www.selfdevelopmentsdacademy.org send an email to me you can call me 
and of course there will be links and more information for you to follow thank you